Hoo -hoo. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Clutch's Vault where cardboard is king. My name is Mike and I think it's finally time that we crack open this amazing 5Ds Yu-Gi-Oh 10. Um, this is kind of a uh, 250 subscriber special as well as a Instagram 200 follower special and there was a giveaway for this video and I like I said, there'll be many more in the future, but for now, I do want to congratulate Vanguard Voices 28 for, you know, thank you for all, all your support on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for participating in the giveaway, and congratulations, sir, because you have won. And as I mentioned before, your prize will be the promo cards that are found in this tin, which are at, which is actually pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess with all that said, uh, let's actually get into this, and we'll, you know, we'll celebrate the, uh, the next, this, this uh, YouTube milestone and the Instagram milestone, and we'll crack open this amazing, epic uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 these 10. Well, I mean, hey, if we're lucky enough, maybe we'll get a Ghost Rare and maybe even some Ultimate Rares. So, with all that said, let's go to the table. Oh, it is a good day, guys. Uh, I do want to thank everyone again for all their love and support. We've made it to 250 subscribers on YouTube and 200 followers on Instagram. And as a reward for everyone, let's crack open this amazing Epic Tin. A tin that I feel is very undervalued right now. So if you ever find these things out in the market, and you can, they, these are actually rather affordable. I think they're a little bit too affordable, meaning like you should probably pick up more of these. Because uh, this actually does have some really good packs. Uh, I don't believe the packs you get in here are first edition, but... Uh, we'll find out, I guess. But uh, these are still really just awesome, uh, epic 5D packs that do have crazy ghost rares and ultra rares that you can pull. And they're just very iconic and nostalgic. This is actually right around the time when I, when I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Right when uh, Absolute Power Force? Yep, this is actually the very... This is the set that uh, that was uh, like just that just came out when I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! So, very cool. Um, let me just get this. And, uh, yeah, the uh, promos themselves, as I mentioned, will actually be given away in... in from, we'll be giving away to a the lucky winner. So uh, no going, no going back, guys. Two thousand uh, two thousand ten ten yeah. Is it a tongue twister? I was gonna say I didn't know what year this this came out, but it was two thousand ten, which actually makes sense because that was the year when I got back into the game. All right, guys. And so let's take a look at our promos first. Oop, to oh jeez, <laughs> that just popped out. Oh, okay, so. Uh, as I mentioned, here are the promo cards. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna keep them in this little, uh, like, uh, seal, so that way our lucky winner, Vanguard Voices 28, can enjoy them for himself, whether he wants to keep this seal, and oh my goodness, look at that warp. Whoa. <laughs> I guess, uh, I think it's just what temperature does to this thing, but, uh, man, look at that shine. What a great looking card. It may not be the Ghost Rare or the Ultimate Rare, but it's still a really cool looking, cool, really cool looking promo. So yeah, I'll let Vanguard Voices 28 do whatever he wants to do with these, so my side um now let's take a look at these packs I got two shining darkness packs unlimited still pretty cool uh, we do have our absolute power force pack uh, two of those and one okay so all unlimited cards but that's okay and uh let's see what is this special marker. i can't pull this out of here what is this wait two free cards see reverse oh <laughs> Is this for uh, jump promos? Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I don't believe I'll be able to get these promos, but oh well. That's kind of cool and nostalgic. Get this little uh, ooh, this is them getting everyone hyped up for Jewish Revolution. That's pretty funny. All right, so let's get this tin out of the way. Let's so we'll put it in the corner here. That's cool. All right, guys, and so let's uh, get started. See if we can get some amazing. Amazing ulties, maybe even some. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get any of the a, a, any of these cover cards can become can be the ghost rare. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, we'll uh, do like one of these first, one of these, and then start us overdrive, and then I think we'll we'll go backwards and go. So we'll go this, 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 and then that and that. So let's uh, get started. Oh, don't worry, I do have my sleeves available right here, so we're good. All right, so. First pack. I don't know if the cards are going to be backwards here. Oh, they are. Not really good. I believe we can do the card trick. It should be, th I think, four cards is correct. We'll find out if I'm wrong. Okay. So, we got. Let me just stack these. Card breaker. Ooh, black wing. Yeah, there are a lot of black wings in these, uh, in, 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 whoops, in actually all these sets. I think this is probably the introduction of the Watt archetype. 
Generous Undone. Ooh, that's actually a good common. I think uh, Generous Control is in here as well. Ooh, a very iconic Infernity card. The, this actually did see a lot of play, even after Barry got hit, because this is one of the very few powerful Infernity cards that were left in the game. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think it's just a rare that we're getting. Infernity Randomizer. And you have Kwaki Maru Prototype. Okay, so that's a bit of a bust, guys. Just a rare. But that's okay. Now let's move on to Absolute Power Force. Uh, yeah, again, this is the set that was available when I first got back in the game. Uh, I think this, this set actually had the new uh, Gravekeeper cards, and that was a deck that I played when I was younger, you know, when I back in the, the old days. So that's why I felt like it was. I, it felt like a really appropriate time for me to get back in the game, because I was able to play a deck that I liked. So. All right, I'm... I've never even seen this card before. Variety comes out. What? Huh. That's an interesting card, but I've never seen it before. So. Uh, Advanced Force. I think I have seen that card before. Sort of. To be fair, I, a lot of these cards I actually don't don't remember at all. Uh, this is, I think this is one of those uh, Supe of Fire Ant Axis Quick Torch Support cards for the Moon and Sun Dragon. Pot of Benevolence. Uh, Apothecatal. Okay. Machine some new line. And, well, oh, I went too fast. Okay, cool. So we did get a super rare. Did, did, did I, I, did, I did do the card trick right, but the hollow is before the rare. So we did get the dragon dwelling in the deep. Fun fact, everyone knows the real popular card, Abyss Dweller? That's this guy. If you, if you, if you, if you actually look at the card artwork of, of, of Abyss Dweller, it's this guy. He has the exact same uh, um, stats as well. So that's pretty cool. And then we did get one of the, uh, the Jin... Curse Enchanter or Rituals. Not the one that's banned, but it's pretty cool. So uh, I'll put this hollow aside. So hey, we got a super rare, guys. That's pretty cool. Now let's move on to uh, Stardust Overdrive. A really cool set with a lot of great secret rares, including, um, I think this is the one that has uh, Guardian Iados and Archival Christia. But man, if we can get any of those Crown of Crazy cards, or man, if we can get the cover card, the uh, Majestic Star Dragon, that'd be really sick. Unfortunately, we only have one of these packs, so we only have one chance. So let's not, not screw this up. I am destroying the pack art. Ugh. Okay, so I think Fort, fort is the trick. Um, if there is a hollow, again, it'll be it'll be this card. That is how, it's, this is how, the, how these packs were back in those days. So we got Spider Egg. Woodland Archer. This is actually a really interesting card. Whoops, hit the camera. If you guys ever actually read this card for like Gemini monsters, this is actually a really interesting card. Dark Spider. Ooh. Iron Core Armor. Infernity Force. Qu Ooh, that's a good common. Quick Draw Synchron. All right, this might be the hollow if it is any. It... Okay, I think we just got a rare thing, guys. Oh, wait. Oh, no. There's still a chance. All right, well, let's see what the card at the very back is. If it's a rare, oh, it is that. Then we might. Have, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, of course, this would be the this would be the card. So we got Dark Rabbit, really cool uh, Pegasus card. Um, but let's see. Did we get a hollow, guys? Uh, no, just a common Gemini booster. Uh, that was a swing and a miss, unfortunately. All right, but there's still some hope. We still have a chance to pull some really epic stuff. So we'll go with Absolute Power Force. Ridiculous card, unicycle. All right, so call of the Reaper again. Magic Hole Golem, Meteor Flame, Bicular. I guess that's Unicycler's older brother. Uh, Rocket Pilder, uh, Shredder. All right, I think there's three cards left. So. Let's see, this is gonna be the rare Shield Worm. That's an interesting card. Alright guys, so this is this might be the hollow if there is any, so let's see. Nope, just a common serpent suppression. Oh man, we're not doing really good. We only have the one super rare, which kind of stinks. Alright guys. Hopefully we'll get some last pack magic. With the shining darkness. Uh a lot of crazy cards in this set. We got like X Sabers, we got Black Wings, we got Infernities, 
and we got the awesome black wing dragon. Ooh, I felt a bit of a curve at this. If we're lucky, there might be a hollow here. So, Phantom Hand, X Saber Palomaru, Worm Call, Card Breaker, Second Booster, Flare Resonator. Okay, I think we're getting. I think there's four cards left, so. Dawn of the Herald, actually a good, a good common card. All right, let's see what the rare is in the back. Ooh, Infernity Inferno. Not the best Infernity card, but hey, maybe that's a sign. Maybe we'll get an Infernity, uh, uh, I think Dark Souls in this set, so. All right, guys, last pack magic. Can we get something? guys so unfortunately that tin was pretty bad all we really got was the one hollow the uh, dragon going the deep but that was actually a lot of fun i think that was kind of cool and uh, i am happy that we were able to get these for our lucky uh giveaway winner so again congratulations these will be in the mail pretty soon thanks again thanks again guys for watching unfortunately the heart of the cards was not on our side today this tin was a bit of a bust we only got maybe we did get a hollow at least but Definitely not the hollow that we were looking for. I was really hoping to get something like really cool for you guys to watch. But anyway, thanks again for all the love and support, guys. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, hit that little bell in the corner. It really does make a difference for you guys to know when these videos are going up. I want you guys to be entertained. I want to do. I have a lot of other videos planned in the future, some discussion videos. I do. I do want to get back to making deck profiles and like deck combo videos. So, uh, yeah, please look forward to that. And uh, I guess thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.